All right. Um, long awaited. Thank y'all for y'all patience. I will be um using a video from a young man named I like to give credit. The poor black man. All right. Wow. He's definitely going in. Um, I only I always like to listen to the first couple of minutes and then I will record so all of my reactions will be fresh and new. Um, but um yeah, let's jump right into it. Y'all know I don't like wasting y'all time. A broke man is the same as an ugly woman. This is relationship advice. And, this and the reason why I'm going to be going in on She Raven 7 is because, like I said, I watched her a long time ago, but I just didn't like the way she was trying to, you know, teach women to use men. Like, um, I didn't know that she was going this far. I think I heard from a poor black man. He may say it in this video that She Raven 7 was basically saying that. You know, if a woman has a baby or kids, she's supposed to hide that from a man until I think he said she said to their she's to their engaged or till she has him emotionally attached. So she knows in her own mind that having children makes you lower on the totem pole in the dating pool. Um, cause you know, most men, especially high value men, they don't want to take care of another man's child. And I've always said that way before I knew about what a, you know, a high value man. And when I found about Kevin Samuels, I always used to say that I want all of my children to come from one man, which would be my, my, my future husband, because I don't think it's fair to have a man take care of another man's child. I always said that, but to hide it, she raving seven. That's like the time um, Wendy Williams gave horrible advice. You know how sometimes in her show she people could ask random questions, and she said she wants to. She this black lady stood up, said she was married, she wants to have more kids. No, or a kid, I can't remember. But her husband doesn't want a kid or something like that. So she was like, you know, should I take birth? Should I stop taking my birth control pills and not tell him? And Wendy Williams on national television said, it's your body, girl. Stop taking them pills and get pregnant if you want to. And I'm like, and then the audience started clapping. Audience full of women. So I'm like, you know what? We need, this needs to be stopped. This is ridiculous. If a man had said that, it, it would have been terrible. All right, let's get started. What kind of struck me? She said, a broke man is the same as an ugly woman. Hey YouTube. Hi guys, it's been a minute. Let me type in the group and Hey, what's up good people? It's the poor black man. I respect your time and I respect your intelligence. I'm sure you all heard about Miss Michaela Pink who was arrested and charged with a number of financial crimes, money laundering, and a few others. When I heard that, I'm like, okay, money laundering. I understand what that means, but also I was thinking about laundry. And I was hoping the spiritual whistleblower has been washing her shirts so that we can get new videos with new shirts. But I know we're talking about a different type of laundering, so... We don't know if she's actually guilty. Um, we do not know that. Um, her face is guilty as Larry Nassar's face. That, that uh, y'all know that dude. <laughs> the one that was, um, touching on all them little girls allegedly i'm still gonna say allegedly because that's some bull crap you 15 years old you get fingered for five years and now all of a sudden you want to see as a woman this is why women say that i'm a traitor to women because i don't have compassion for for women look bull crap that's why one of the questions i know i'm going off on a tangent one of the questions for them little girls was <clears throat> have you masturbated before she said Yes, the 15 to 16 year old. So did you know what it feels like to have an orgasm? Yes. So why did you sit there for years with Larry Nassar and let him finger you doing your little appointments? Well, I just, I, bull crap. I would have said case dismissed. You knew what was happening. And I bet his fingers stank too. But we do know that she is a mother, uh, three children, and 
it's really unfortunate that those children are without their mother at this time. And she's without walls if she has three children, but whatever. But a lot of women that didn't say they didn't push out babies, that don't necessarily mean that they don't have no walls. They said that you can bathe in some vinegar and get it tight again. Don't know if she did what she is accused of. And I I hope that um, she did not do it. And I hope that those children can be reunited with their mother. That being said, let's look at who she is, because I've never heard of this woman ever. So she has uh, 8,500 followers on Instagram. She's a CEO, author, life. and What black woman isn't a CEO? CEO of what? Food stamps and welfare and fake hair? Dating coach. So she's a life coach and a dating coach. Sounds like Kevin's... She's a life coach. Y'all be giving me trying to tell somebody else how to run their life and how they should be living when your life is just chaotic. Samuel's sister. um she has a a website michaela pink okay i got that open right here it says michaela pink is an expert in strategic dating femininity and high value men wow sounds like kevin samuels well sounds like or looks like maybe she may be fit for real instead of a spiritual whistleblower who seems like she's photoshop fit (laughs) <laughs> that's gonna be our new nickname for her photoshop fit because uh if i can't see you on video boo boo no because we know how they doctor up them for y'all remember how whitney looked on that uh i was a kid i think i was like nine or ten when it happened whitney houston came on that stage looking like a skeleton a holocaust survivor when she came on there trying to sing and she was so super skinny they had with the camera, they say the camera adds 10 pounds. They still try to make her look bigger. And she still looked like she was bones, dry bones. You see what I'm saying? She looked like she was graveyard dead, right? Well, that's what spiritual whistleblower is trying to do. She's trying to deceive us with her fitness. <laughs> Posting all them old pictures like uh, Sansa Ray does on her uh, OnlyFans. Like that's going, no, 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 no. We want recent pics, and when we say recent, we we mean within. Mm, y'all, let me know in the comment section what y'all want to see from spiritual whistleblower. Two to three months max. That's how old the pics can be, cause she be posting pics five, six, seven years. This is what I used. To, this is when I when I model. Get the f- out of here. We want to see recent. Y'all like how if I do want to cuss, I just bleep it out myself. I don't cuss. Sometimes they just. I, I invent my own stuff, like Mother Freaker. Yeah. I, I'm a lady. I'm a lady. Expert high-value men. Okay. She has helped thousands of women transform themselves from starting their their best lives. She is focused on one thing with her clients' results. It all starts with one-on-one coaching. You can book your session for one-on-one coaching. Not your hair. I would love to see what these women look like with, you know, how they wake up because... Because, you know, good and doggone well, she don't have hair like Rapunzel. We would be repulsed <laughs> to see how her real hair look. You know that hair ain't coming. Come on now. You know that hair ain't. Come on. Coming down here to her waist. That is that is Mr. Ed's hair. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start. That's what I'm gonna start listening for in her videos, cause some of that hair probably still alive, ain't dead. <laughs> Y'all know that sound them horses be making. Hold on, hold on. We wanna be accurate. Black men. This is what y'all gonna be hearing sometimes randomly around your house when y'all deal with these weed wearers. I heard him. Sometimes when you trying to like put your hair, your hand, run your hand through their hair, but it's really a horse hair. You will hear that periodically, so don't be alarmed. Bitch, we've made a lot of videos on Shira 71. Okay, fine, whatever. But. Oops, sneak peek on She Raven 71. 
Be on the lookout for that. And see what these products, items, sessions are. It says standard consultation. So I guess this is just the pink pill narratives. That's why everything's pink. And we're playing off of her last name, I guess. Image consultation. Oh, image consultation. She is an image consultant? <laughs> yeah, she, she's trying to be the female Kevin Samuels. It sounds like Kevin Samuels. Are they related? This image consulting. <laughs> uh, scenario consultation. <laughs> wow. You cannot. The, the jokes write themselves. Nice girl rehab. She says, men love bitches. Nice girls really need to, really do finish last, but you can choose to break the cycle today. What is going on? Nice. <laughs> He's hilarious. Girl rehab. Let me tell you something about YouTube. Let me tell y'all something. Gary V says to put yourself out there and find your audience. This woman put herself out there and she found her audience. Her audience are people, women, whomever, who will pay for $297 worth of nice girl rehab. Man, look, you better watch Bad Girls Club reruns and, and see what it did for Natalie Nunn and uh, my girl, uh, dang, what's her name? The big one. That's no longer big. Uh, I ain't getting no sleep because of y'all. So y'all know I don't get no sleep because of me. Dang, why can I not? Oh, some of y'all know who I'm talking talk about. She's the brown skin, big one. <sighs> Can't think of it. But anyway, watch that show. They were bad girls. Well, it seems like Natalie Nunn is still bad girls. Her and her chin is still acting up in these streets. And she's another Photoshop fit. But I think she did lose the baby weight, but that chin still is Jay Leno-ish. To turn a nice girl into a bitch so that they can get a high level man. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I think it's Tanisha Thomas. That's what I think her name is from Bad Girls Club. Enough about that. I went to her YouTube page, or I, I, I searched her on YouTube and we see all of the videos. And then I went to her YouTube page and there were some videos that she put out that, that kind of stood out to me. This oh, one. Oh, got your natural hair on this one. It says that some women will always be. Pro so you mean to tell me you went from Pocahontas to Polka Nap in this one, and we supposed to believe you? Listen, if you are not your normal self, twenty four seven, like on that picture I posted on my community post, only thing I had was some lip gloss, and I don't even like to do that. I like to just wear like petroleum jelly or maybe even some chapstick, cause you know all that stuff be breaking my lips out. I don't want to be running around here looking like y'all, looking like y'all got uh, <laughs> herpes or anything like that. My body and my skin is so sensitive. Like, even a little feminine wash, everything I have to use has to be like, it has to, if it has a little scent, it has to be scentless or it has to be pH balanced. It has all that. My skin is like a light-skinned woman's. It's weak. You feel me? But... <laughs> And so what you have is this life coach telling you why some women will always be broke. And 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 I am here. I can tell you why they broke. You ain't got to pay me $200 to tell me why you're going to always be broke. Because you're always looking for a man to take care of you. Hypergamy. That's what that is. That's why I don't respect most women. Because most women lead with their looks. Stop that. I don't like that. Men have to work from the ground up. But women can just come in an office looking sexy and get promoted or... Uh, suck a sucker for some truck fit and get promoted, right? Or if they're on their Instagram, they can get a thousand followers for what they're trying to do by just poking their booty out or showing their breast or whatever. And I halfway blame men too because y'all keep hyping up these whores, right? These harlots. Y'all the ones giving them all this attention. And so they know that they can do that and they don't have to work hard. That's why most women, you don't impress me. Unless you show me that you've done the groundwork. And I don't mean having your knees on the ground. As I've said, that a lot of these influencers do not live the lives 
that they portray. A lot of them are liars. Mm. They are putting on performances. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much money these people make, but I can tell you. See them there looking like Frederick Douglass. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> let me show y'all, because I'm petty. I'm petty for real. <laughs> y'all know what you got to say here is that. Don't play with me. They even made it in this little cartoon drawing. Y'all know she got the same hairstyle. Hold on. As Frederick Douglass. Photoshop fit Frigli. Fr <laughs> I can't even say it. Photoshop fit Frigli. <laughs> can't say it. Photoshop fit Frigli. Frederick Douglass. Dang it. But that ain't you. Photoshop fit is Miss Spiritual Whistleblower. But y'all got the same. Man, come on now. Get off my man. Uh oh. Frederick looking kind of fine right there. Let me find out that's a real picture. I'm going to go dig you up and jump your bones for real. Let me stop. Let me stop. I know what money looks like. And and I'm telling you, it don't look like what these influencers. <laughs> she look like a runaway slave. <laughs> Eyes be free and you can be freeze with me. I know a couple of horses that we can round up and we can sell it to these black women. Yeah, we can get the hair. Let's do that sometimes. You just got to hit it with a mallet. And make sure it's real. It's dead. I know hair come out, you know, dead already out your head. But, you know, when it's hair head and snug DNA, I don't know. I'm getting lightheaded talking like this. They're doing. All right. So she has a video. Some men will always be broke. And it was another one. A broke man is the same as an ugly woman. This is relationship advice. And this one kind of struck me. She said, a broke man is the same as an ugly woman. And of course I didn't listen to it because I don't be listening to this shit. But you know, when you out here calling people ugly with with a whole bunch of makeup, mm -hmm. but when the let me tell you something. Told you she looked like <laughs> she looked like a runaway. Let me stop. I can joke like that because I'm black. But if I was white saying she looked like a runaway slave, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Imagine the backlash. People need to be humble. <laughs> be humble. <laughs> be quiet. All you need is be humble. Talk about be being humble. glammed up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about being glad. That's why men say that makeup is witchcraft. Climbed <laughs> up. Wow. 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 A broke man is, an, is the same as an ugly woman. Um. So the, a broke man is the same as you, basically. Let this be a lesson that if you want to put yourself out there on YouTube, you can find your tribe, and there are people out there that will rock with you. Mm-hmm. I don't make money on YouTube or social media. I have a regular ass job. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. Um, right. And we're not going to like it. I don't remember what your name was, but you came on my channel and you were coming like basically how you don't think that there is any hope for you because you're not a high value man. You just want a good woman. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I rep for you regular job havers, just like Kevin does. We're not going to clown y'all. That's why he says to a lot of these black women, why do you want a high value man? Get you a good blue collar, what is it? Blue collar, white collar, what do they call it? Get you a good hard working man. Why do you want a Bill Gates? You're not qualified. And women are, us women, we're not used to hearing that because all we have to do is be cute and have a nice shape and we think we're qualified. But because I'm going to tell you, this is crazy. And I'm in a video on this. You know how many times I've said to the older women in my family, I don't think I'm qualified to, and this is way before Kevin Samuels. I was like, you know, I got to fix myself up. I don't think I'm qualified to have um, a high value. Well, I didn't know about high value. So just like I see a guy and he looked successful and I'll say something like, um, I don't think I'm qualified. I don't think he would want me. And then they, all the women in my family, what you mean? What you mean you're not qualified? What you mean? He not on... Wh wh why would you say that? That's low self-esteem. No, that's being realistic. Until you fix yourself up, 
until you get your weight together, until you get your health together or whatever you need to get together until you fix your hair, you are not qualified. We need to start teaching young women that. If all you bring to the table is your body and your sexual organs, eh, what's that sound they make on Jeopardy? Not Jeopardy. Um, <laughs> dang it. Family Feud. When the ex come on that motherfucker. I don't think... I do not think people should be aspiring to be like this. But she found her audience and she is give she gave her audience what they wanted. There are there were 11,507 people who wanted to her wanted to listen to her talk about how broke men and ugly women are the same. And there you have it. <laughs> That's her audience. That is her audience in the same the same way that these manosphere cats have an audience of men who want to hear them talk about women, black women, for two and three hours at two and three hours at a time. <laughs> they found their audience. Small audiences, very small audiences, but they found their audience. So I told you I don't speak on what I don't know. I don't know much about the manosphere, but I'll definitely be researching that. Um I would advise you guys to stay away from that. It's a poor black man. We are at six minutes and 34 seconds. I am done. No, we're at 21 minutes and 34 seconds because I've been running my mouth. See you on the next one. I got some content coming. It is going to be good. So, yes, yeah, you girl at Tiffany M. Draper. Make sure you smash that like. Make sure you leave a comment because I love talking to y'all and reading y'all comments. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. More videos coming today. And like I said, if you know any of, I'm going, I'm going to do She Raven next because that thing, oh my God, that thing is like beating the boss at the end of Dynamite Hetty. Some of y'all may remember that at the end of Mario, like Street Fighters, like you got to beat the hardest care. That thing right there is poisoning the minds of women. She's the big boss. (laughs) Wow. Y'all see what I'm talking about when I do her. And when I say do her, I don't mean like that. Oh, my God.